I'm Matt Kenny, and here's some Canadian news. I know it can be hard to understand what the politicians are really saying, so I'm here to translate it for you. The 925 million, I'm a little puzzled. You talk about transparency a lot, but it looks like the inquiry came up with that number by doing something that any Canadian or anyone in the world can do, going to the Canada Revenue Agency charity site and adding up the numbers. Um, so what exactly more transparency do you want? I mean, we know these groups appear at regulatory hearings, for example. Um, did you want, like, some law that they have to report specific Alberta things? And if that's what you want, um, should publicly traded energy companies and energy groups also be required to report what they spend on legal fees at regulatory hearings, what they spend on lobbying, advertising, and so on. And they mostly do. Um, it's called no, uh, audited they financial do not break statements. Those out in their report. It's exactly. called audited financial statements. But don't look at those statements. And those energy companies yeah, and public traded publicly traded yeah, corporations. It's a broad category, but there won't be specific breakdowns like you seem they're, to be calling for. They're being asked to disclose climate risk and ESG considerations. We think the oil and gas companies being forced to disclose their climate risk is the same as charities disclosing every bit of information on their business tactics. And they are, and they're doing it because it's the right thing That's to not do. That's Bobby. I'm talking about. Sorry, talking about you asked your question. Can she answer? Yeah. Thank you. Um, excuse me. She's trying to deflect your question. Please kindly shut the f up and let fascism commence. Uh, yeah, they the, the corporate corporate dis disclose their climate risk and their ESG considerations because it's the right thing to do. It's not because there's a piece of legislation requiring it to, to do that. All we're asking is environmental organizations should disclose the sources of their funding when it's from another jurisdiction and what it's used for. And the important reason on that is it's foreign funding that's impacting domestic processes, legislation, regulation, projects. It's foreign money, and I think all Canadians should be concerned. I'm still confused by the numbers, and I think it's okay for foreign-funded corporations to affect change in Canada, but not foreign-funded charities. And that's the difference in that, and it's a pr fairly simple thing that they could do tomorrow. They could disclose that tomorrow, and they should. They should disclose it because it's the right thing to do. And I'm pretty sure at any shareholders, annual general shareholders meeting of a corporate entity, somebody wanted to know and got up and asked how much is spent, they're going to get that answer. I also don't know how the stock markets work. Do you have a follow-up? Um, you better not try to interrupt her deflection again, or we'll have to turn down your mic again. Thank you. Fascism. Thanks. Yes, I do. Um, are you saying that if Northern Gateway had been built, oil prices would not be increasing right now? And is the province of Alberta opposed to the increase, current increase in oil prices? If Northern Gateway had been built, it would have been able to ship 525,000 barrels a day of Alberta, of Alberta crude to the northwest coast of BC, where it could get on tanker and get world price. It could get world price, and it could go anywhere. And primarily, it was destined to go to uh, Asian markets, those same Asian markets who are stockpiling crude because there's a shortage of it. Uh, supply has lagged demand um, as we're coming out of uh, the, the COVID, as economies are, are recovering out of COVID. There's a shortage of supply. And Canada and Alberta is not able to do that, not able to supply it. We should have been able to, we could have been able to, but we were blocked. Instead, what we're seeing is other jurisdictions, uh, competing jurisdictions that produce oil are able to, to supply and able to have a strategic advantage of, uh, of, of supply during a world global energy crisis. And it's a shame. Alberta could have and should have been able to do that, and we aren't, and we need to, we need to, we, we have a right to be mad. Here's a hypothetical you should be mad about, so I don't actually have to answer the question. And on that note, that concludes this media event. Thank you. Thank you. Um, propaganda finished. Please kindly get the f out. Thank you.